Well, hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome. Welcome to Movie Community College. I am the professor. I am solo for this portion of videos. Uh, we got a lot of stuff that I taped with the Warrior Queen. I'll be uploading a video or two of her maybe a day, at least one a day. And um, and I kind of would just want to tell you what's going on here in America with China. China! Everybody's favorite villain, China. What's going on with it? So, as you know, a lot of you made comments in a video about Trump saying there will be retaliations against India if we don't get our hydrocoxychloroquine or whatever the heck it is, right? He came back and reversed. He came out and said, listen, I'm sorry. India, thank you. They've released it to us. Modi's my friend. We got it. Everything's fine. Everything's good. So that has been taken care of. Now there's a new fight coming up. And it is to do with China, and it's to do with who? The World Health Organization, right? This is, this is, let's, let's, okay, I'm getting excited. I'm getting crazy. So let's watch. I got a little, uh, you know, why on news clip about this. And then I'm going to tell you what's going on here in America with our Congress, with our Senate, what the president is saying, what the White House is saying. Uh, China screwed. So let's go ahead and take a look at it. Moving on to our next big story, the World Health Organization's efficacy as a global health watchdog has now come under some sharp criticism, and this time from U.S. President Donald Trump. Trump called the WHO a China-centric organization and slammed its initial advisory, asking countries to not close its borders to China. On January 31st, President Donald Trump had placed curbs on travel from China, but at that point, the WHO said that restricting movement of people and goods is ineffective in most cases. The Trump administration is also looking to halt American funding to the WHO. Now, this would be a major blow to the organization, which is largely funded by American money. Donald Trump has promised to put what he calls a very powerful hold on U.S. funding to the WHO. The... Uh WHO, that's the World Health Organization, receives vast amounts of money from the United States. Not anymore. And uh, we pay for a majority, the biggest portion of their money. And they uh, actually criticized and disagreed with my travel ban at the time I did it. And they were wrong. They've been wrong about a lot of things. And they had a lot of information early, and they didn't want to do very they seem to be very China-centric. And uh, we have to look into that. So we're going to look into it. We pay for We give a majority of the money that they get. And we're going to put a hold on money spent to the WHO. We're going to put a very powerful hold on it. And we're going to see. Well, every shot wrong, that's no good. The WHO receives funds from two sources, the assessed budget and the voluntary contributions. The U.S. accounts for around 23% of the WHO's assessed budget and is by far the largest voluntary contributor. In 2017, the U.S. sent $401 million in voluntary payments, even though it was required to only pay $111 million. But slashing funding to global organization has been, of course, a regular feature in President Donald Trump's White House. So um, Trump goes on to say it's just when you look at the World Health Organization and how China-centric they are, they're getting things wrong all the time. Why are we paying all this money when you can't find your head from a hole in the ground, right? When you can't hit water if you fell off a boat. Like, why are we giving you this money? This seems like a complete waste of money. Now, the the what was he, uh, the general physician came back and fired back at Trump with a little little smart alecky comments that if you know if you if you're going to politicize this, get ready for a lot more body bags in the streets. What, okay, whatever, get out of here. So this is what's happening. You saw that four hundred million dollar number. It's been cut down to a hundred and twenty million right now, and Trump is getting ready to pull all of it out, all of the money out. And on top of it, there's a movement within our Congress, within our Senate, to punish China for this because uh, the world kind of knows that they weren't truthful about how this thing came out. And um, and there's a, a senator in Tennessee who has started a uh, a a kind of a, the process 
um, to have the U.S. debt um, not, we're not going to pay our U.S. debt to China, basically. So what China does is America spends like drunken sailors. Everybody knows that we spend so much money on everything. We run up this bet, this debt, so China buys it through bonds so we can then keep spending. And China right now owns $1.1 trillion of U.S. debt. And uh, the, the, the senator from Tennessee, I think it is her last name, Marsh. I think it's Marsh. And then, and then there's some House representatives who have said, we shouldn't be paying, Lindsey Graham said, we shouldn't be paying this. You know what? We're flipping the huge bill. We need to figure out how we're not going to pay you the $1.1 trillion, dude. Are you kidding me? That's like a huge, that's a huge dine and dash. Dine and dash is when you order food from a restaurant and, and when the bill comes, you take off running. <laughs> um, that's a huge dine and dash. So you, what you have here is America getting ready to dine and dash on China. And on top of that, there's also a movement to take all of China's assets and split it up amongst the nations that are affected to reimburse them for a down economy. You are going to see the collapse of China out of this. You will see India, my sweet brothers and sisters, rise to the top as kings and queens of the East. I've been saying that since day one. I have been saying that since day one. You are the kings of the East. Have I not? Come on, man. You know I have. You know I have. And it is happening. It is happening before I. As a matter of fact, a whole wide range of Bible prophecy is just... Is just cascading out now if you'd like I'll do a video about Bible prophecy about what's coming next because this is only the first of pandemics brah this is only the first of it and I can do a whole series of videos if you want me to if you don't want me to then I won't I'll continue watching Ramayana Ramayan sorry I gotta get out of the habit in Mahabharat so uh, thank you so much for watching uh, let's um, so in America we, we camp out we get uh, marshmallows, uh, some chocolate, and graham crackers, and we kind of put them together and we roast them over a fire. They're called s'mores. And we kind of do that and we sit and tell, tell stories to each other. What should we do in India? Should we roast some vegetables and sit around after the this is and watch as the, uh, the mighty uh, Chai Kham Empire slowly slips into the abyss of nothing? Because that's what's going to happen. Thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe to this channel. I love you. Well, thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe to the channel. And please check out our internet radio station, DarkSkyRadio.com. Again, that's DarkSkyRadio.com. We got great talk shows. We play some music. You will be thoroughly entertained. Peace and much love.